Today we're talking about Pro Tools inserts, but before we get to that, I must say I'm feeling pretty good today because I finally got my hair cut. And as you guys know from prior videos, my hair was getting pretty crazy, so yeah, definitely feeling good. But anyway, we are talking all about Pro Tools inserts today. So you guys may have seen inserts inside of Pro Tools, or if you have worked in other DAWs before, of course you've seen them because they're in every DAW, but you may have wondered, well, what are they for? We're going to talk about that in this tutorial. I'm going to let you guys know what they're used for and basically everything you need to know about them. So if you want to learn all that stuff, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody. I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about inserts within Pro Tools. So inserts are basically used for your dynamic effects or if on a instrument track, they're used for your virtual instruments. And I'm gonna show you how you actually put those on to a track. And I'm gonna show you how to initiate more inserts than what are in there by default, which are five. But before we get to this tutorial, I wanna mention I have a link popping up in the top right corner now to my Pro Tools training playlist. So this playlist contains videos ranging from beginner to advanced. And if you guys want to get better at using Pro Tools, definitely check out this playlist after this video. So that being said, let's get into this video and talk about inserts within Pro Tools. All right, so your inserts are available to you in both the edit and mix window. So this is the mix window right here, and you'll see that you have five inserts. So you have a maximum of 10 inserts you can work with in Pro Tools. Now to get access to those, you need to go up to the view tab up here, click on this, go down to mix window views. And then if we wanna see the next five, we would go to inserts F through J, click that. And now you see that we have all 10 inserts available. So we could do the same for the edit window also. Let me bring it on over here and I'll expand it. So you'll see over here, I just have the first five available. I'll go back to the view tab here. Now I'll go down to edit window views and I'll go to inserts F through J here and you'll see that I have all 10 available here, okay? So we're gonna work in the mix window in this video, so I'm gonna bring this back over to my other window. All right, so as mentioned, our inserts are for our dynamic effects, okay? So we're not gonna be using reverbs and delays, which are your time-based effects. If you want to know how to use those properly, I have a video popping up in the top right corner now on how to use those. Check that out after this video. Okay, so. What we might want to do, just to give you an example here, is go to our first slot, which is going to be our first insert here. All you have to do is click on it, and then you're going to get this little pop-up right here. So you're going to want to go to multi-channel plugin. I don't ever recommend using multi-mono. Just stick with multi-channel and you'll be good. So we're going to add an EQ. We'll go to EQ folder here. We'll go down to the default Pro Tools one here, which is the EQ37 band. There's also the one band, but that's pretty useless. So we'll go to the seven band here. Okay, so you now officially added your first insert, okay? So, I don't know, you may wanna add a compressor to insert two also. So if we click on insert two here, and then we go down to multi-channel plugin again, and we go to dynamics, the default compressor for Pro Tools is this one here, the Dyn3 compressor limiter. So click on this, and we'll let that load, and there you go. So now you got a EQ and compressor on this channel here. So as you can see, it's very easy to add plugins to channels and the plugins are meant to be added via inserts and that's what inserts are for. So now I wanna show you how we add virtual instruments to instrument tracks. So we're gonna create a instrument track here and the keyboard shortcut is Control Shift N on a PC to launch your new tracks window is Command Shift N on a Mac. So we're gonna do a stereo um, instrument track here and we'll just call it, uh, we'll just leave it as the default here. So we'll do create. So it's gonna look exactly the same here. And your first insert needs to be your virtual instrument. So we're gonna click this here. We're gonna go down to multi-channel plugin again, but this time you're gonna go to the instrument category. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll just go to mini grand. That's the default grand piano within Pro Tools. So let's click this. And then there you go. So now you have added a virtual instrument 
to the first insert on an instrument track. Now, you can add EQs, compressors, and whatever you want on the following inserts. You're not completely allocated to just adding instruments to instrument tracks, okay? So you can, you know, obviously do mixing on an instrument track too, using compressors and EQs and whatever, okay? So that is how you use inserts in Pro Tools and pretty much any DAW that exists out there. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.